Hey guys, Alex1860 here. Welcome back to another part of Let's Play Togabot Plus. So, we are, I think that we're almost done with this. Uh, this should be the last part of the game, I think. I'm not entirely sure, because who knows, there could be more after this, but from the way things are looking, looks like this is pretty much the end. Okay, so, like Ruby was just saying, we now have another eye statue, like the one that was in Crank Belt, so we shouldn't really be moving when it's looking at us. Actually, I should probably grab more of these. Because, as you can see, to my left, there is a gear that I can hit with that. And... Good, now I'm on it. Kind of just want to... Okay, should be low enough now so that it can't see me when I'm walking. Now, is that- No! Oh, that should have hit. No, no, I'm sorry. What? But just running back to that to heal. Oh, let's try that again. So, again, gotta wait here for the statue to look away. Okay, there we go. Switching over to triangle button formation. I think that's U formation. I don't really remember the letters, but whatever. And obviously it can still spin while it's looking at you, it's just, you can't really walk. I'm just going to let this uh, turn around one more time. Not sure if I can be hit by that blade or not, so I'm going to, so yeah, I was kind of waiting for that too. And running you inside. There we go, made it past it. Another earthquake! It looks like the prototype Karakuri has really begun to stop the planet's rotation. Hurry! So, pretty much, the Karakuri Zero is pretty much starting to destroy the world. So, not exactly great. Not great at all, actually. Well, this didn't surprise. Don't know if you guys, well, again, obviously I don't know if you guys remember, but we haven't fought Dongle in a while, and here he's making a return. So that's, no, frick, missed. No, <laughs> Well, that was great. That was an amazing miss, but at least that one hits. So that's a bit better. Oh. Good, for a second I got hit. I kind of want to see exactly how much this, this does, because me... Ah! Can't talk, because my other attack was doing, like, nothing, but... That seemed to do a good amount more, so... That's, uh... Good. Pretty good. Come on. Quit garden. Quit your garden. You gonna try to attack at all? There you go, good. Let's try this again. I'm already liking that move. Already liking it. So. Don't know exactly how much it's doing compared to my other attack, or my other overdrives, but. Definitely compared to the regular attack against this guy, it is pretty amazing. That keeper just now is the one you find in the Damparak ruins, right? Could it be that these ruins were where the prehistoric keepers were created? Well, considering all the dongle arms on the wall, I would have to say so, Ruby. Though, what I'm not understanding 
is Dongle has one arm that looks like it was cut off. And there are multiple dongles. Ah, multiple dongles. There are definitely plenty of dongle arms, as you can see on this wall. Why didn't ex yeah? Why weren't they made with you know two arms instead of just the one? That way, it could still be attacking and have one defending. But not like I'd want that. That would be too cheap for this game. But with one arm, he's just too easy. So. Well, it looks like in here we have Sonic. We, again, haven't fought this one in a while either. So, what we gotta do here, whack these little mines back in, and I kinda just missed there. Uh, I hate having to jump over those. So, come on. Good, I hit. Hit that, now I just gotta hit that, and good. That's one quarter of its HP down. This doesn't seem to have the improved defense that Dongle had, so that's definitely a plus. Not sure if I'm going to be able to hit this because of the spiky thing, but... Uh, nope, wasn't able to, so that kind of sucked. But, another one right next to me, I can't really complain, even if I did get hit. There we go. Sonic is halfway down, and thank you for switching me to this, uh, to this formation. Because, I mean, it saved me from pressing a button, which isn't much, but hey, it's something at least. But, whack this back at you. Good. Another hit. And there we go. Now, just one more, and you should be dead. Thanks again. Not like it really much matters, but hey, can't really complain. And, no, that was a miss. One more. Over here? Eh. It's not too far away, so I'll take it. Well, of course I'll take it, but... Yeah, and there we go. That was... A bit harder than Dongle, but... Not really hard at all still, so... Meh. <laughs> Don't really have too much to say about that. I've been waiting for you all to come here. There is a human inside here who is trying to use Zero wrongly. This child is Arya? I can see her too. My mother, who developed the Karakuri, made a huge mistake with the first Karakuri she made, Zero. Zero was unable to distinguish between good and evil. He did not have a heart. The small Karakuri, who you know as Tokobots, were developed based on that mistake. These Karakuri were implanted with her daughter's heart. My heart. This girl's heart is inside the Tokobots? Bolt. I have seen your earnest bravery for myself. I am sure that you will be able to stop Zero. Please help Zero in my stead. Well, so it looks like we have a little piece of Arya in each of our Tokobots, which is pretty nice, although not as nice as those treasures, I will have to say that. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to save here. Actually, no, don't want to save there. I'm going to save over this one. I just didn't really want to save over that because, well, if I did, and then if I completely screwed up this recording, then where would I start back at? So. Not like that really much matters, but for this room... Basically... The path is shown to you for a second, but, oh, come on, Tokobots, how about this, this formation, there we go, but one easy way to stay from falling off is, well, holding the R1 button, because, well, then, you're, you can't fall off, really, 
See, I'm trying to run off the edge here, but I can't because R1 button. No, no. Well, you can still jump off if you're, well, jumping. But other than that, pretty easy room. So, the problem, like we just saw, is going to be jumping. So what should we do? Well, I see that I have shadow, and I have a shadow over here, so that made me land a bit easier. Didn't really need to keep spinning there, but really didn't much matter, so open door. And here, we have the Tankaloo. This one was a bit more recent, but still, we haven't seen it in a while, and that was completely stupid of me. But, oh well, I got a hit, so I guess I can't really complain. And again, since I have full, I kind of just want to see how much this is going to do to it. If it would have hit, of course. I think it could still hit from here. And it can't- whoa! Okay, that was pretty nice. Oh, pfft. Close, but nope. That hit us, that's good. And two more hits should do it, I think. Gonna try to get one while it's- No, oh, I was close! There we go! Got it while I was rolling. So that was nice. Now just one more. If I really wanted to, I could use the overdrive again, but that would be kind of pointless. Especially since it should just stop right over here. Yep. Oh, pfft. Though I might not be able to... Nope. Okay, I wasn't able to hit it anyway. So, wow, that was stupid. Well, not stupid, but it sucked. Gonna wait for this one this time. And don't come on. No, no! Come on. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. You're dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Where oh, Fred, over here. Good. Thank you. That was kinda stupid towards the end. My fault though, so. Now here, if we hit the wrong panel, we're going to be sent back to the room before. Though, luckily we won't have to fight the Tankaloo again or anything. But, basically, just right, left, center, left, Right. I'm kind of, I mean, I did do this area off screen for just a, well, just a couple minutes. Didn't really play for too long or get too far in it or anything. I uh, kind of just wanted to see what I was going to be up against. So that way I wouldn't spend like three hours on one room or anything stupid like that. But... Even off screen, that only took me like three tries to get. And the first two tries, well, actually, it took me like four or five tries, but like the first two tries were just me pressing the center button, being like, okay, well, what the crap. But, as always, we have something limited, or we have, not limited, but something that we can't use in this, and this, it, ah, and in this room, it's the Togo Glider. So, we can still spin, just we can't glide. We fall straight back down. And I do not like the camera angle on this room. But wait for that to fall, jump back up. Don't really like waiting, but looks like I'm probably gonna be doing a good amount of it here. Did my off-screen try of it anyways. Didn't finish it, only got to like the next platform and then I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna, that's good enough. So. That was it for my off-screen runs. Oh, duh, I can't even spin anyways. No, okay, good, I still made it. 
wasn't entirely sure if I still would or not. And there we go, hit that. Gotta wait again. I might be able to go instantly, but I'm not sure, and I honestly don't really feel like risking it. So, yeah, but... This is where I'm expect- no! <laughs> Some of my Tokobots in the back decided to, well, hit the edge of the platform when I was falling, and they just kind of were just like, eh, I don't really feel like staying with the rest of the group, so goodbye, and then we all, like, disbanded, and it was just like, frick. Should probably just be able to make this with seven. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to, but I was. And of course, Ruby tries to tell us the same things every time that we come in here, which is stupid, but whatever. And yeah, I don't think that I would be able to make that just by jumping, like, instantly. So I'm pretty sure that I do have to wait, which is stupid, but meh. What can you do? I mean, it wouldn't be bad for off-screen, but when I'm recording, waiting is kind of just like, really? Do I have to? Because I don't really feel like boring you guys with the waiting. And when I'm waiting, there's normally not really too much to talk about, so... Yeah. But we've made it over to about where I was last time. Just got to get down to that next platform, and then I can start doing the Toko swing again. And jump now. Okay. Wow. Okay, if I would have fallen off there, that would have been stupid. No, come on! Oh! Okay. This time, it's gonna happen. I've been recording this for about an hour, and good, okay, so I got that. That's the third time I've got that in the last, like, hour, like I was saying. And, yes, okay, hang on, I might actually be able to freaking do this now. Holy crap. Yes! Finally! Holy freaking crap, that was retarded. <sighs> Got a rare treasure. Cool, this looks really rare. Uh, this looks really rare. Let's get Dr. Viola to take a look at it later. <sighs> Finally, I'm freaking done with this room. Now, excuse me for a minute while I walk back to the last save point. Okay, so, we finally freaking finished that room. And sorry if I offended anyone when I said retarded. But, I'm sure everyone knows exactly what I mean. That room was just unnecessary. I mean... Really. It was... Just stupid. But anyways, okay, that room's over. I'm just gonna go ahead, be over that, and move on. This is the third time. Taji will laugh at us if we come this far and fail. But you should be fine now, Bolt. I know you can stop it. So, apparently, the worst that can happen now is Taji laughing at us. No, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. No. That's not nearly as bad as Taji laughing at us for us failing. But, either way, the this guy here should look extremely familiar. Oh, and, of course, I get hit. Pretty much same tactic as before, like all the other bosses. And, yeah. 
Come on. Okay, so now he's gonna start doing the whole just stand in one spot while he waits for me to come and attack him, which is pretty stupid of him, in my opinion, but... Whatever. And I might have been able to make that without having to climb, but I'm not sure. And either way... I, oh, that didn't do as much as I thought it was going to do. Actually, hang on. Let's go ahead and test how much that does compared to the Samurai Hover. Let's see this. Because now that we've upgraded it... Wasn't sure I was going to hit the block on the ceiling there. That would have sucked. Okay, good. So I can't just do that. But, let's see this now. I'd say that the Samurai Hover did a bit more. But, then again, it doesn't attack multiple... Well, it does attack multiple enemies, just... You have to aim and... You have to aim pretty good. Though, then again, the... Octopulse, the um, Armageddon now is what it's called, would just completely, oh, come on, would probably hit enemies more than once anyways, making it about the same power anyways, so, I don't know, it's about even between the two, I would say, but either way, I'm just going to hit you with my regular Tugabots now, since I didn't since I wasn't able to use either of my overdrives there. But... Oh, come on. And there we go. Another win for us. So now we can go ahead and move on to lower level. And here we have another save point. Thank you for the money. It's just being so nice with the money lately. Which makes sense, considering I've been going through boss fights. But connecting that to the lab, guys. And I think that that's going to do it for the video. So thanks again for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys later.